Investigators of the paranormal from pioneers to amateurs have been fascinated by realms not in our physical world. It's been a mission for all who investigate the paranormal to find the answers that so many have been desperately seeking for decades. I demand you to leave! Was that you that made that knocking sound? We are on that same mission. We brave the unknown that many dare not to. We're searching. We're coming. We will never stop. This is our search for the answers to the afterlife. This is Backroad Hauntings. Um, just want to give a little story of where we're heading to. We're heading over to Wolf Creek Inn and Tavern. Um, it's been investigated by many, many, many people before, and uh, you can add us to that list now. Aside from the Wolf Creek Inn being the longest operating hotel in the Pacific Northwest, it is also the oldest hotel in the state of Oregon. Over the years, the hotel has seen many renovations, the latest one being just a few years ago to bring the hotel back to the original look, just as it was when it was constructed by Henry Smith back in 1883. But though the history of the hotel is intriguing, it is not why we have made the trek down to Southern Oregon. At the Wolf Creek Inn and Tavern. These guys were great. These guys were really nice when we went in there. Always makes it easier, especially when you're investigating. We came to Wolf Creek Inn because of the mysterious claims of unexplained voices, seeing, apparitions, and probably the most evil of the claims is that of a vampire who hides in the surrounding woods and follows guests back to their room at night to terrorize them. We spoke to one gentleman who described seeing a dark shadow as he was walking around the hotel just the night before. I did walk the grounds by myself. Mm -hmm. uh... Right over here, actually, is where it happened. So I was walking this way, and uh, out of, oh my gosh, I just still can't believe I saw it, because I was like, I've never seen something like this before. Uh, I was walking around the corner here, and uh, out of the log deck, you see like this like shoulder, like a left shoulder and a head, right? Pure, pure like this, just up, mm -hmm. and then it goes back down. And like as soon as I saw that, I'm like, nope, I'm done. Dude, the wild thing about the whole thing that, like, to me, like, I can't, I woke up this morning, right, I can't stop thinking about it, was, like, you see these videos on YouTube, right, and it's just, like, these quick shadows, like, peering over, right, like, uh -huh. like completely black. It was exactly like that. We've slowed down the shot and enhanced the video where you can see frame by frame. First frame shows nothing there, but... When you get to the second frame, you can clearly see what appears to be a shadow and eyes glowing back. And here is our room. Alright guys, so this is it. Wolf Creek Inn. Wolf Creek Inn Tavern. Really nice place, really nice people. 
we're in the room right now so oh it is hot today uh anyways show you guys around a little bit there's you yep that's right anyways so this is pretty much how small the room is there's the bed there's Shelly there's the window there's the table and here is the bathroom I'll be trying this tomorrow so got Shelly happy about coffee <laughs> anyways most of the investigation tonight will be here in their room um, they have allowed us to uh, walk around the building do maybe some uh, videoing EVP work and such like that but um, after 1030 they you know out of respect for them just to be quiet um, and then we'll be hitting the grounds and investigating the grounds too with some EVP work and hopefully the SLS so uh, with that being said I guess we're gonna go get some more luggage after getting all of our equipment up to our room Shelly and I decided to conduct a short EVP session Just me moving the, sitting on the microphone and moving the equipment around it. All right, now I'm sitting the microphone down on the case. All right. Is there anybody here with us right now other than me and Shelly in this room? I'm John. This is Shelly. We don't come here to show any disrespect. We just want to communicate with you. We know that you guys probably have had quite, quite a lot of people come through here to try to communicate with you, but you could just add us to that list. But is there anybody here that would like to talk to us tonight? Do you know about the vampire that supposedly stays in the woods and follows, follows people back to their room and terrorizes them at night? Do you know about that? If there is somebody here, could you make a noise? Could you knock on one of the walls or just make any noise in this room to let us know that you're here and willing to communicate? Without our knowledge, this point of time right here ends up playing a role into our evidence later on. When we were done with our EVP session, we decided to analyze the audio recorder, which resulted in no evidence at all. But... While we played back the voice recorder, we caught something on our camera's audio which we did not hear with our own ears and did not learn of this evidence until we analyzed the footage after leaving this location. Listen closely to the question I ask and the immediate response we received on our camera's audio. We're going to end the EVP session right now. We're going to play it back. At this point in time, we want to replay an intelligent response we got while talking about trying another EVP session later on. You can clearly hear a response of, yep, right after I said we will try again later. Now, we have increased the volume and placed Shelly's voice here to compare the two and it is absolutely not Shelly's voice as you can clearly see here. 
Mm-mm. I didn't hear anything at all. Yeah. Mm-mm. I didn't hear anything at all. Yeah. All right. We are reporting. We are going to go check out the restaurant. We're just going to let this record. It is about 4.27 right now, p.m. Um, in our hotel room at Wolf Creek Inn, Hotel Room 6. Uh, yeah, so we'll leave this running. It's charging at the same time. There's nobody allowed in here other than us, so everything should be good. Everything should be quiet. We close the curtains. We're going to turn off the light. We're going to turn on the um, night vision and the IR light and hopefully, hopefully everything goes smooth. Yeah, so we're going to leave the recorder recording too. Um, will you turn off that light over there for me please? Thank you. We're just going to set this. How about over here with We're the microphone? We're going to set this over there. Actually, well, since we have the mic over there, let's set this. Um, just set this on the other side of the bed. So. We're in the middle of the bed. Yeah, we'll set it in the middle of the bed. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We're just going to put it right on top of this pillow. Right here. Actually, I want you guys to be able to see the microphone so we're just gonna sit right here yeah you can see that all right all right John Shelley Wolf Creek Inn this is UVP in our bedroom room six it is 433 p.m. on July 10th. We have the uh, Mini DV number two recording. Um, we are going to leave the motel room and go explore around the grounds and maybe run to the store. But I'm going to leave this here and hopefully we capture something. If anybody wants to talk, we got this setting this down on the pillow. If anybody wants to talk, you're more than welcome to talk. Say anything you want to say while we're gone. If you want us to leave, tell us to leave, tell us to get out. When we come back, we'll listen to all of it. Oops, that was me kicking the camera. Have no fear. Dad, Dad's here. <laughs> I have the hotel key. I have the room key. Oh, wait. I want to get my rag. Eighteen minutes after leaving the room, we picked up on both our camera's audio and our audio recorder an EVP of what sounds like a male saying, Be quiet. Then a short time after that, we picked up a knock and then what it sounds like a female saying, Yeah. After going to the restaurant with Shelly, I started to not feel good and decided to come back to the room. That's when I encountered a whistle that sounded like it was coming from someone standing right next to me. It's me coming in. It's getting really hot out there. Not feeling good for some reason.
Maybe I need to get some fluids in me or something, but I'm not feeling the greatest right now. And I don't know if it's just... I don't know if it's because of... Oh, I don't know if it's because of the heat or what. Okay, I just heard a whistle. Okay, I just heard a whistle. Okay, I just heard a whistle. I just heard a whistle. I just heard what sounded like a whistle going like that. Was that you that just whistled? Was it you that just made a noise? At this point, I'm trying to find a logical explanation for the whistle that I heard, maybe being a squeaky floor or something, so I decided to retrace my steps and see if I could get it to happen again. Okay, I need to reconstruct where I was. I want to make sure it's not the floorboards or something, so I'm standing right here. I said I'm not feeling good, i got to go to the bathroom. Right, right about here is where I heard it. Unable to recreate the situation, I decided to carry on and to analyze the evidence later on. At this point in time, I still wasn't feeling good. I do not believe that me not feeling good had anything to do with the hotel, the spirits, or anything paranormal. It was a hot day that day, and I truly believe that the heat was starting to affect me. After getting some fluids, I started to feel fine and decided to go back down to the restaurant to help out Shelly. Shortly after leaving the room again, we caught another EVP followed by a bang. At this point in time, Shelly and I decided to leave the room and leave the voice recorder going and the DVR camera going. Shortly after we left the room, we picked up an EVP of a little girl saying mama, mama, followed by breathing into the microphone. Anybody want to talk to us? Am 
Minus all the car activity, is there anybody out here that wants to talk? Anybody got anything to say? Any spirits with us? Is there any vampires out here? Is that story even true? This is Wolf Creek Inn right here. Wolf Creek Inn. The longest running hotel in the Pacific Northwest. We made our way outside to investigate a little. Though we did not hear, see, or feel anything, nor did we capture any evidence, we decided after investigating for a while to make our way back inside and do some more investigating in there. When we made it to the second floor, right next to Clark Gable's bedroom, we caught an EVP. After analyzing it and enhancing the audio, we believe it says, I run. What do you think? Now we're going to go upstairs. And at the top of the stairs is, to the left, is Clark Gable's room. At this time, we decided to make our way back to our room and do some investigating in there. We decided to use the flashlight trick, and it seemed to work out pretty well for us. And though I have been investigating for many, many years, I have used the flashlight trick quite a few times, and not once has it ever worked for me until Wolf Creek Inn. We are at Wolf Creek Inn, room six. This is our EVP session and our little investigation before we go to bed. And I'm setting the recorder down in the middle of the bed right here. All right. John, this is Shelly. We come here in peace. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, if anybody wants to speak to us tonight, communicate. During the investigation overnight, when we set up our DVR, our DVR audio had way too much interference for some reason. We could not fix it that night, so we decided to sync up the voice recorder with the DVR. There might be one or two second play while you're listening back. It will check temperature, it will check your any electric magnetic fields anything that you know anything that you could do to use to communicate with us do it and we will do our best to try to understand what it is that you're wanting right right in front of this red solid light you could go ahead I'm going to move the recorder right now that was me moving it you can go ahead and talk right into that or you can make that light up and Either one will know that you're here, or you can knock on the walls. So, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to sit on the bed. Is there anybody that would like to speak with us tonight? Anybody? Just make a noise, touch the REM pod. You can make it light up, you can make it make noise. There's a little girl here. We have these flashlights here. I'm gonna turn these flashlights on for you. Set them right next to each other. Actually, we'll face them. Mm. There I we don't go. Like that either. No. 
All right. There you go. There we go. There's these two flashlights. The one closest to the bathroom door, let's just say that one, if you if you have an answer of no, go ahead and turn that one off. It's real easy. You just got to twist the end. Whoa. All right. Can you turn that one back on? The one that just turned off, can you turn it back on? You want me to step back? I'll step back. Can you turn it back on? If you want me to stop talking, go ahead and turn it back on and I'll stop talking. If you want us to leave, turn it back on and we'll go ahead and leave. Alright. Whoa. So you want us to leave, huh? If you want us to leave, turn that one back off. Just got a noise over there. If you want us to leave, turn the one you just turned back on, turn it off. I know it could take a lot of energy. Wow. Thank you. We really don't want to leave though, we want to stay communicating with you. So, we will leave in the morning most definitely, but we just want to communicate with you. So if you could turn that back on, that will validate that you are here right now, and we will most definitely leave first thing in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That was awesome. That's really cool. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Is there any way you could uh, answer them by making the one you've been turning on and off is yes? And anything for no, just go ahead and turn the other one closest to the bathroom door off. Make that one go off and on for your no. Are you a female or, okay, do you understand that? Is that why you turned it off? If you understand that, go ahead and turn it back on. Can you turn it back on for me? What if I ask you nicely, can you turn it back on for me, please? Thank you. Next time on Backroad Hauntings, Part 2, The Ghost Town of Golden. Alright, we're a few miles from Golden, Oregon, The Ghost Town of Golden, which was built in the late 1800s, mid-1800s to late 1800s. It was ran by Reverend William Rubel, who owned a couple saloon or a couple uh, churches? Is William Rubel here? Is there anyone here with us right now that would like to speak? Caught it in the, just the corner of my eye. Just by the time I looked at it, it was gone. Do you want to sit next to Shelly? <laughs> How did you die? If there's anybody in here, you could tell me to get out. Is there an evil presence here? Could have swore I just saw a shadow.